Hello everybody, it's Punisher, and I wanted to go through some changes with the new OBS update that I think people are, you know, are going to be uh, interested in. Um, they came out with a couple of really important updates. Uh, so they're now up to 0.16.2. The base update that I want to talk about uh, started at uh, 0.16.0, and then they've added a couple of hot fixes. But uh, one of the big things they've added is they've added some new text uh, rendering and they're now using uh, Windows based text rendering, which is really cool. So if you go and you can uh, you start a text source, you'll now get this text GDI plus. And so now uh, they've added opacity that you can adjust uh, background opacity, for instance. Uh, in addition, they've also added gradient. So you can add gradient and you can change the opacity on that, change the direction, you can change the colors. Uh, you know, so they've added some really new things, a chat log mode, um, custom text extents, which is really cool, where you can uh, actually do a little more custom adjustments to your text size and the uh, coverage that it has. So, and I know a lot of people complain about how the text sometimes, if like you had a guy that had a really big name that it would overrun their overlays, that sort of thing. You should be able to adjust those now inside of this new text format, which is really good. All right, another new thing they have added to OBS Studio. This is a neat feature. So now you don't have to go down and add a uh, media source anymore into your uh, into your sources. Uh, now all you need to do is just take a video from a file and just click and drag it into your source, and boom, it adds that to your source now. So where you can go in and you can adjust and go in and change, you can rename it, uh, go to properties, uh, you know, do any adjustments you need to do there. But it builds that for you just by, you know, clicking and dragging it into your scene, which is awesome. That looks really good. Big thing that they've done is something they have been in developing. A couple guys, I think Jack Orr is uh, one of the guys uh, that was working on it. It's either Jack Orr or Jack's son. I can't remember which one that has been working on the AMD VC fork branch for it's been two years at least. I know I was talking about it when it first come out, probably about midway through um, um, Battlefield 4's development or, uh, uh, you know, development. About the time they also started Mantle support in BF4, uh, this is about the time that the uh, VCE um, fork branch came out for OBS. So they have finally um, developed it enough and worked enough of the bugs out, stabilized it enough that they've added it as a regular addition to OBS Studio, which is, is awesome because it works well for doing recordings. And so you AMD video card guys, you now have a GPU rendering inside of OBS Studio. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to use this for your main recorder, uh, you can, and it works pretty good. Another thing they've added is if you go down to the bottom uh, to your system tray, uh, you, your OBS Studio icon, if you right click on it, you can now start, stop your stream and your recording. And you can also hide OBS there. Uh, so they have given you that functionality, which is pretty nice. I can see a usefulness in that. Another thing they've added, if you go to the tools at the top here, you now have an automatic scene switcher. Now, I personally don't have any use for it. I, you know, I, I'm maybe in the future, if I see some, some examples of how people have done some things using this, I may add it to mine. But as I can see right now, I don't really have a use for using it. But obviously, there's people out there that do. Otherwise, they wouldn't have added it to the get to the uh, program. But it is there, and uh, it looks pretty simple to add, uh, you know, scenes to it. And uh, you can, you know, turn it, start it, stop it. You can do, uh, you know, switch to all, you know, your different scenes here. It seems pretty be pretty, uh, pretty easy to set up. And let's see, and let's think that's about it. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, down here in the bottom right corner of the OBS window, and I didn't mean to do that, but uh, you have an FPS counter now. And this is an output FPS counter, not, not what you have set, but what you're actually outputting to your live stream. 
So this is a great way to monitor your performance. Uh, if you start seeing your FPS drop here, then that means that you're seeing lag and you're, uh, you know, you're 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 taxing your your stream computer uh, beyond what it can handle, and that's really what it comes down to. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea of your performance here, and that's nice to know because. Um, that's you know something you really need to know about uh, when you're doing your recording and you're, you're doing your streaming. So and it'll show up if you're recording or if you're streaming. If you stop, you know, and you're not actively streaming or actively recording, it's not going to show up. But that's all the big changes that they added. They also added some bug fixes. They added B frame support for uh, NVENC. and they've added some. Uh, they did have a bug fix for browser source. So. If, you know, if you're in there and you're deleting browser source, you were updating it, sometimes it would lock OBS out. Uh, so they have fixed that, and that's good because I have seen that quite frequently, to be honest. So they did that, um, you know, and they're continuing to update it. For instance, uh, a couple of things they're working on for the near future. Uh, so you're, they're going to have real sense depth sensing uh, green screen or no green screen support. Uh, so the, the new Razer um, webcam that came out, the new Logitech C922 that uses that technology will now have support in OBS. And uh, I expect that to see, within, see that within the next update or two. And then another thing that I expect to see uh, real soon is they're going to add DX12 to game capture. So we'll see how that works. I know Battlefield One's coming out next week um, and it, Supposedly has DX12 support, so uh, you know we'll be able to see how DX12 game capture works with that once OBS supports it. But supposedly I said we'll still be able to game capture it using regular game capture uh, under DX11. So um, we'll see how that works. I don't know if it'll be buggy or not, but I will give it a good test next week when the uh, Origin Access opens up. I think it's on the 13th, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, guys, that is it as far as OBS updates. I just wanted to put a real big shout out to the DRMB guys down there in Florida. I know you guys are uh, bunkered, uh, hiding, not hiding, but, um, you know, trying to uh, hold out through this hurricane down there. Uh, you guys, keep them in your thoughts and prayers, family members, your friends, uh, you know, the, everyone down there in Florida. I just, you know, just want to let you know you're in my thoughts and prayers, and I pray everybody that's watching this video will uh, take time out to think about those uh, that are down there in Matthew's path. Um, it's a devastating thing. It's a uh, Cat 4 hurricane. as uh, nothing to joke about. Uh, while I personally haven't experienced a Cat 4 hurricane, um, I have been through Cat 2s, and Cat 2s are bad enough. I can only imagine... The, the devastation that a Cat 4 hurricane will cause. So, again, guys, keep those people in your thoughts and prayers, and uh, hopefully we'll see them come up on the uh, positive side of it here in a few days. With that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe out there, and uh, we'll see you out there on the battlefield. Bye-bye.